Welcome to NANOG 82. This is our fourth virtual meeting, if you can believe it. We have over 400 registered attendees, of which 100 are NANOG members. If you'd like to be a member, just reach out to any of us. We'd love to share more information with you about it. Our keynote is Tuesday, June 15th from Vint Cerf. He is talking about the evolution of the interplanetary internet. It'll be a great talk. Please join us at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time for that talk. Our sponsors are critical to the success of Nanog. Um, our sponsors help us pay for salaries and software licenses and meeting expenses and all of that. Um, and basically have kept us alive through this pandemic. We really appreciate our sponsors. Our virtual host is Kentic. Thank you very much for hosting. Our premium sponsors, we have Fastly, our diamond sponsor, Aaron, our platinum sponsor, and Verisign, our gold sponsor. Thank you very much. The virtual meeting fellowship sponsors are as follows. Our daily sponsors, Digital Realty and Telstra. Our scavenger hunt and game sponsors. Um, these provide a little bit of entertainment on breaks as well as some nice giveaways. Definitely check those out. Our virtual expo sponsors are listed below. Um, you can find the virtual expo link on the meeting page. Uh, it's definitely worth a look around. Please take some time on maybe one of your breaks. Thank you. Our service sponsors. Nanog 83. We are planning a hybrid meeting for Nanog 83. Um, this will include hopefully a in-person element depending on CDC guidelines and virtual much like what you're going to experience this week. We are monitoring CDC closely. We, the safety of our community is the number one concern, but we know many of you are vaccinated now and want to meet up in person. We want to see you. So um, we're really excited to go to Minnesota in November. Even though it's cold, I know we'll have a great time and it will be a wonderful meeting. Um, for those of that, you that can travel, we look forward to seeing you then. Um, we will send updates as regularly as possible as we get closer to that meeting. Thank you. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Nanog82. I'm Avi Friedman from Kentuck. We're hosting this Nanog, and I'd like to uh, give a few words of introduction. Uh, first, I'm super proud to host uh, myself and as Kentuck. Uh, and I'd like to welcome everyone again to this virtual Nanog. Uh, I am first time hosting, but a long time participant. I joined the Nanog mailing list uh, and uh, started participating in 1995. I gave my first uh, panel and presentation in 1996. Uh, for me, Nanog has always been about community, us coming together, the people that are building the digital infrastructure, especially around networking, and education. We teach each other and we teach each other and we build this community formally. There is presentations uh, and content that you can, uh, when it's physical, go to and otherwise look at. You can interact and I encourage you to ask questions. And it's also informal. Some of that is been the hallway track, which we've done in person and uh, is now more virtual uh, with this Nanog. I'll tell you a little bit about Kentic, who is sponsoring uh, this Nanog. So as a little bit of background, uh, Kentic is a network observability company. We make a service that helps the people that build the infrastructure, especially the internet, and the services on top go. We take a wide kind of telemetry from all different kinds of network, and we tell people, uh, give them recommendations about performance and security and things that they can do. Our customers are service providers, enterprises, uh, and everyone in between. Natog itself, has a diverse kind of uh, networking represented, a diverse set of folks building the internet, the services, the SaaS services, the cloud and the other infrastructure. And in today's world, doing network observability, really understanding what's going on has gotten harder because of this complexity, whether it's performance or security or engineering. Uh, we think that observability uh, to do it really well means seeing all the different kinds of network that you own or are using, uh, taking a wide view of telemetry, being able to understand that with context, and then being able to interact with it well. 
getting insights and uh, driving with actions and integrating with automation. Uh, that's what we've built. It's a cloud service. It takes lots of different kinds of telemetry from many different kinds of infrastructure, then also adds context. So not only your BGP, but your application orchestration, your user data, so you can really understand performance, security, availability uh, by type of traffic and by type of infrastructure. Um, you may know Kentic as uh, a product that launched with a lot of functionality on peering, transit, interconnection, the core of Nanog. What's new uh, that you're welcome to talk to us about, drop by the booth, is around performance testing, a lot of cloud functionality, whether performance or cost, understanding and auditing uh, transit and WAN costs across your network, a lot about automation, some portal access for both service providers and enterprise, BGP monitoring, which we've launched as part of Synthetics to understand hijacking and how you're reached, and then a lot of integrations uh, as we work with other parts of the observability platform. So if you're curious about Kentic, feel free to reach out to me, avi at kentic.com, or come talk to us. Um, I'd like to thank you. Hope you enjoy Nanog. Hope you get a lot out of it. And we'll be sponsoring uh, at Nanog 83, which will probably be hybrid. Um, we're hoping we'll get to see some folks in person if safety and protocol um, allows. Again, I'm Avi at Kintic.com. And uh, thanks so much. And thanks to the Nanog team and to the entire community. Hi everyone, my name is Kat Garinsky and I am the current chair of the Nanog program committee. So for Nanog 82, we have 13 peer reviewed presentations, including our keynote. The Nanog program committee is comprised of 26 members and we're in charge of moderating the program sessions and the networking sessions. We're a self governing group. Some notes for the program, for the virtual chat, make sure that you use the chat tab to talk with other attendees. The question and answer tab is for asking questions during your presentation. And then the help tab is to get and receive technical support during the conference. On the agenda on the website, you will also find the presentation materials with the speaker slides. And don't forget that we will have a newcomers, women in tech and birds of feather networking sessions on Zoom. Those links will also be on the agenda on the website. Looking back, we wanted to highlight some of the virtual improvements we've made over the last several conferences. This conference is our fourth virtual conference. So Nanog 79, 80, 81, and this one 82 have all been virtual. Some of the lessons learned and improvements we've made have been that pre-recordings have definitely been the way to go whenever possible. This removes any issues we have with streaming, uh, microphones, et cetera, because we're able to fine tune, cut out um, errors, et cetera. We also know the exact timing of our presentations when we pre-record, which makes it a lot easier to slot our agendas. We've been working really hard on predefined speaker introductions. So no longer does somebody have to come up and we just say, oh, here's Joe and he's gonna talk to you for the next 30 minutes. Now we have a good introduction talking about their previous presentations, if, if they've had any, talking about if they're new to Nanog, where they're from, what their history is in the networking world. So you get a better idea of who you're hearing from on each of the talks. We've also been working on running scripts for our moderators, again, just to make the transitions much easier and smoother. And talking points for our moderators to help remind you about things coming up like the breakout sessions, future talks, et cetera. We've also done a lot of new features in the PC tool to support those above features, which have made the job of the PC much easier. Come back to our community meeting on Wednesday for a lot more details on all of these bits. Uh, more lessons learned continued. Um, so submit your, your presentations early, provide your slides early. We've been doing rolling submissions, which means we're also doing rolling acceptances. So the sooner we get your talks in, the sooner you have a chance of being accepted, which also means the sooner you can pre-record your talk. And as I mentioned on the prior slide, when we have pre-recorded talks, this allows us to better time the agenda, slot things correctly, so that we know and can make sure there's enough time for question and answer. We've also formally split out the shepherd and content reviewer roles um, this year. So the shepherds will still be the people that guide you through the whole process from start to finish on the program committee. The content reviewer now is the person who is specifically in charge of making sure your slides have good formatting, that they're free of typos. And then they also assist in collecting and creating your speaker introduction information for the, the actual conference. And again, for more information, please attend the community meeting on Wednesday to hear more about these, these updates. And then here's a slide just showing you our 26 members of the program committee currently. Um, so I just also wanted to take a special moment and shout out as well to Oki, our vice chair, and Liz, our secretary. And then we have several other members who have stepped up and are helping out with various committees. But all of our program committee members are extremely valuable and really help us in forming the, the program that you're seeing here today. So if you see any of them uh, virtually or in person at our next conference, please do feel free to tell them thank you for all their hard work.
And then as a reminder for every NANOG, we will have surveys online at nanog.org slash surveys. So please fill out the daily surveys. There'll also be a separate survey for the hackathon. And as a reminder, the surveys will close Friday, June 18th. So you will have a few days after the conference to fill those out. Those really help the program committee make updates and better improve future conferences for you. And enjoy the program. And we look forward to speaking with you the next few days.